Wesh and Anae, at the end of 2021, we decided it was time for a complete life change. So we sold our house and business. Now we are traveling around Australia, looking for adventure and seeking moments of solitude. Swag up. And here's the rain. And it's here. Now we're huddled under our awning. Well, the side door of the canopy. Because we don't have our awning out. <laughs> <laughs> we are at Pelican Bay, which is just south of the Inskip Point, which is where you catch the ferry across to Fraser Island. We've been here for two nights and it has been very peaceful. Oh, beautiful. Very relaxing. Caught up on some much needed sleep. Mm. After some bad roadside stops for a while, it's just lovely to get a beautiful campground like this. Yeah, it's beautiful. So today we're going to be exploring the local area just a little bit before we head to our next camp, which is just south of us at Poverty Point. Bio potty brand, wouldn't recommend it. It stinks. Um, it does make my bag smell a little bit pooey when it's full, so that's why I wouldn't recommend it and uh, wouldn't stack things on it if you can help it. I was thinking that we'd go up to Inskip Point first and then come down to Rainbow Beach because we've got to go past Rainbow Beach to get to Poverty Point. That's where we booked to camp tonight, but it's only 8.8 k's back, which means we can dump the loo. Rainbow Beach, then we'll hit Inskip Point. Inskip Point, then we'll go back to Rainbow Beach because I've been looking forward to fish and chips on the beach this whole trip and we haven't found any. Well, we haven't really been near that many beaches. And, and we haven't really looked and no. we've been super tired asses. Super tired ass, yeah. <laughs> you don't have fish and chips when you're a super tired ass. So maybe we'll splurge today and get fish and chips from Rainbow Beach if there's even a fish and chip shop. Got this down pat so well, I'm not even going to look at the end stuff. I came up with my own method. Camera's off here. Last two times he's done it perfectly. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> Gotta wrestle it a little bit but bam son. how it's done guys we did actually order an ensuite awning on a swing away bracket oh, I can't wait because <laughs> it's more of a hate relationship with this thing than a love and just to be able to oh swing an awning out go to the toilet put it away mm. you only need it in these campgrounds where there's no privacy but mm, true they're becoming more and more uh, popular. We've used it a lot more than what yeah. we thought we would, although we haven't used it very much. No, but it is something that if you're gonna travel Australia- yeah, It's needed. You need it, like it is requested in so many campgrounds in Western Australia and Queensland. It's mm. just, it's a necessity, not a luxury. See that weather? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's coming for us. That looks super gloomy to me in about half an hour, an hour, I reckon. We get pumped by rain. 
once you turn down Inskip Road, there is just camping the whole way along on the right hand side on the coastal side. And it's just, there's just campground after campground after campground. We looked at staying there when we were deciding where to stay. We actually chose Pelican Bay based on the fact that it was actually the quietest campground. These sites are huge and like some of them can accommodate up to like 250 people and they had like 50, 60 people booked in uh, to stay there. So that's why we chose Pelican Bay. We're walking down to the barge and so yes, many people track. just, well so many cars just went past us. I've only got 7% battery and I forgot to bring a spare one with me. It's crazy how many cars. A uh, fair few cars fit on the barge, eh? Yeah, but how many go to Fraser midweek? Yeah, a lot of people. It's craziness. <laughs> a lot of people. The rain just found us. I think it has been about half an hour. That's the barge, it looks so small from here in the GoPro. And that's Fraser Island. We have some commitments in Sydney, so we can't go to Fraser this lap, but hopefully next time we can fit it in. We just walked through town, Rainbow Beach town, and came across two different stores with souvenirs, so do not buy the stickers from the first shop because if we had our we would have been really disappointed because the second shop had really cool designs and the quality is just outstanding like these are going to last they're like the proper digital vinyl ones and we got two for ten so we got this one that was my pick and then this was Shen's pick really cool stickers if you come to a rainbow beach you got to add it to your collection I've got an activity planned my legs are already sore. We did a workout yesterday. We're both sore today. And I think they're about to get, our legs are about to get sore. Let's I do it. We can reward ourselves with fish and chips. We are about to walk 88.1 Ks down to Noosa, taking the Great Walks Trail. Just kidding. I'd love to do that though. What we're actually doing is going to Carlo Sandblo. Which I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I think it's a big sand dune. Personal challenge, I'm gonna run. Sheer craziness. Do I have to run as well? Is that slack if I don't? Whew. Huffing. Next round. I'll take you guys with me. Shorter, steeper. Just 25. Oh, and here we are. This is craziness. Mm. Mm. My asthmatic lungs didn't appreciate that. Wow. back to town rainbow beach it looks like there's just like this mad drop off just there oh, let's go check that out it's just a sheer just straight drop off down into the bush i don't know if this is salt or just a lighter colored sand I think it's a lighter coloured sand. It's just sand. Oh. I'm 
feeling the burn on my legs on the way back up after yesterday's workout. It's so worth it, but for the view. Oh, the colours? I was not expecting that. I wasn't either. It would have been amazing if I had brought the drone down and we could have flown it over the cliffs. It would look so cool. But um, next time, if you come here, bring your, bring your drone. Bring your drone. Fly it over the cliffs. And it's well worth the walk. It is. It was only 800 metres, plus then the sand walking. Yeah. Really nice. Lunch didn't exactly go to plan. The fish and chip shops, even the burger shops, all the takeaway shops were shut. Apparently Tuesday is not the day to come to Rainbow Beach for takeaway. No. So we ate out at the surf club, which was really lovely. And Delicious. so we've just decided to go foot to respect today. Yep. And we got ice cream. Ice cream. We never eat ice cream. Mm, never. Or well, hardly ever. I got vegan hazelnut. And I got mint choc chip. Delicious. Now let's go try and find camp. Poverty point, here we come. never been to places before and you've just got to randomly select campsites. Awesome spot. The bush meets the ocean. Oh, that is pretty spectacular. I've just gone for a little walk right out to the point. It's really peaceful. The midges here are next level. Bad! Beautiful spot. But... Beautiful spot. But they are eating us alive. We've got long pants on, long shirts. I mean, I've done my button up. We've got hats socks on. Socks on. It's just crazy. They're just, just the, nibbling everything. They're devouring my face. And I've already got midgey bites on my face. It's just something that Queensland seems to have in abundance. Is midges. midges. The sun is setting and it's pretty spectacular. And time to start cooking dinner. I'm going to do something nice and healthy tonight. Nice big hearty vegetable stew for dinner tonight after our cheeky naughty lunch. After spending 129 consecutive nights sleeping in our swag and loving swag life, we decided to treat ourselves to a little bit of luxury. We are about to start a little bit of a new chapter. We have a really big and exciting six months planned ahead of us and we thought that now was the time just to treat ourselves just to this little bit of luxury reset rest relax and reflect and just enjoy this time before that all begins we're still going to be living out of the back of the car sleeping in our swag and washing out of a bucket 
but it's going to be big it's going to be different it's probably not what you're going to expect and we'll have some more details coming on that really soon guys i hope you've enjoyed this episode if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do so so you don't miss out on our next chapter announcement which will be coming really soon please like and drop us a comment as well and we will see you in the next episode see you guys bye guys bye.